I'm, I'm in the lab. I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Oh, hi there, and welcome to Zoinks TV. My name is Science Steve, and this is week one of our water module. This week, we are going to be talking about the, the physical properties of water. Oh, glad we got out of that storm. As I mentioned before, this week we will be talking about the, the physical, physical properties of water. water. First things first, what is water? I'm glad you asked. Water is made up of millions and millions of tiny water molecules, otherwise known as H2O. In each water molecule, there is two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Take an ordinary bowl of water, for instance. Touch it. Feel it. It's wet. Zoinks! No, but really, little known fact for you, water is the most abundant liquid in the world. So abundant that it covers about 70% of the Earth's surface. Now that you know what water is made of, I can teach you how it relates to density. What is density? I'm glad you asked. Density is defined as mass per unit volume, or how much stuff is crammed into a specific space. For example, water has a certain density. If something had a greater density, such as this nickel, what do you think would happen when I put it in the water? It sinks. Now, if something had a lesser density, such as this stick of wood, what do you think would happen? It floats. Now that you know how density relates to water, I can teach you about buoyancy. What is buoyancy? I'm glad you asked. Buoyancy is defined as an upward acting force caused by water pressure that opposes an object's weight. If the object is either less dense than the water or shaped appropriately, as in a boat, I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. the force can keep the object afloat. Zoinks! For example, as we've seen before, a nickel has a greater density than water. Therefore, it sinks. But, if we use the principles of buoyancy to create an object shaped like a boat, we can make the nickel float. Now that you've learned how water relates to density and buoyancy, I can teach you about surface tension. What is surface tension? I'm glad you asked. Surface tension is defined as a property of the surface of water that allows it to resist an external force. It is revealed, for example, when objects that are denser than water float on top of water. For instance, this paperclip is more dense than the water, therefore it sinks. But, if we delicately place, if we delicately place, if we delicately place the paperclip, it sits on the surface of the water because of surface tension. Another way to view surface tension is to put water on a coin. See that bubble on there? That's surface tension at its finest.
Thank you for joining us for this week's module of Zoinks TV. I hope you had fun and learned a lot about the, the physical, physical properties, properties of water. water. I'm Science Steve, and join me next week when we learn about the water cycle.